Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United Save. It's episode number 39. Here we go. So uh, in the last episode, we had positive results to cap the episode off. We had a 5-1 victory against Wolverhampton, won 5-0 against Morecambe FC to get through to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And we kick-started Group G with a victory where we won 4-1 against Atletico Madrid. We're going to start this episode against Rangers. We have Arsenal right off the bat. The international break will commence and then we're going to play Bournemouth right after it and then we have Benfica to cap this episode off away from home in the last episode we had a lot of positive dilemmas going into into games having to decide who was going to get uh, get selected or be selected i should say um but it's b between bruno fernandez and Xavi Simmons when it comes to the number 10 position Adiemi and Marcus Rashford are still going at it but Adiemi has one goal involvement more than Rashford but I feel like Rashford's overall impact can help us change a game whereas Adiemi he plays better uh, because he does track back help the defenders out and also combine in front of goal whether it's getting the assist or grabbing a goal himself I feel like Rashford's good at scoring goals but Adiemi's good at building up and who knows even Elliot Myers he can be well within a shout of playing off the left hand side because we are trying to actively convert him into a left winger so we can work on him as an inverted winger I feel like he might be more effective off the left hand side creating a uh, more goal scoring opportunities he's good at crossing but him cutting in off the left hand side might um, produce more goal scoring opportunities uh, last season we had Rangers in the group phase so we already know how they're going to shape up and how they're going to play um, even though it says that they have standard tactics uh, we don't want to go by that because I feel like secretly they play direct football they are almost Jurgen pressing they're always trying to get the ball back with high intensity high energy and no matter uh, how good your players are on paper <laughs> as a team as a unit they are a difficult side to come across and beat the only change going into this first game we've moved Bruno Fernandes back Back into the starting 11 and he's going to claim the captaincy as he hasn't been removed as the club captain so Gimenez he's going to take a spot on the bench and uh, hopefully we can probably rotate the squad uh, especially with the CDM role with Kobe Mayne who also sitting on the bench too Tonali to Fringpong to Mori let's go we're gonna play the ball to the left Adoji Xavi Simmons early on we get a shot off Bruno Fernandes testing out Jack Butlin uh, so early opportunity denied a full half an hour has gone by still no no at the Ibrox Stadium the last season they did give us a fight to the point where they took three points away from us in the group phase just uh, try to avoid that this time around going through Punk oh, Don Garnacho turns the Cooper well we're going to drive forward Xavi Simmons turns Bruno Fernandes is in the gap Bruno Fernandes with a perfect response to be in drop the last couple of games our captain's on the score sheet uh, we don't just rely on Victor Osherman to make the runs in behind we've got central midfielders who are good at overlapping they look for Rangers that more structured in the second half oh, what was that Adoji there's another questionable pass let's go Simmons Fringpong returns it Simmons does this exact same thing ball back into Simmons ball goes into the box oh what a shot from Rashford he's hit the post he's hit the post what an acrobatic attempt uh, that would been a lovely way to double the lead no. deliver another ball Tanali another stop by Butland uh, we keep aiming it directly at the keeper we need to start aiming at the corners there's Fuentes and put a foot in well done Adiemi we win the ball high up the pitch and now we could definitely punish them. Rasmus Hoyland through on goal. Rasmus Hoyland with Adiemi next to him finds Adiemi and the goal is scored. It's 2 0. Adiemi gets his third goal in all competitions. Unselfish play from Rasmus Hoyland. Probably definitely needed a goal himself to prove a point to Victor Osherman. Ball dinked forward. Who's that? Oh, Coopers gets it under control. Tapsuba confuses him there. We now can come away with the ball. Rasmus Hoyland slips in behind. Bruno Fernandes is the player who played him in. Rasmus Hoyland for free. Rasmus Hoyland off the bench yet again. Back-to-back -back episodes. Okay, another standout performance from every player on the pitch. I feel like uh, Rangers, they were suffocated yet again. Even at home, <laughs> they couldn't even make it out of their own half most of the time. Trying to pass it around the back. Oh, Myers is ready. Myers is ready to cut on that wand of a right foot of his. He's now going to convert to a left winger. We're going to develop him as an inverted winger now, trying to work on his finishing, attacking position and shot power. That's something that we definitely want him to work on. Eventually, we're going to go back to working on him as a wide playmaker so his vision can improve long passing and even short passing. Already establishing a healthy lead in Group G. Love to see it. Three points clear on Atletico Madrid. Sitting one point behind Manchester City. 
are Arsenal and we have them next. I, I'm going to assume that Arsenal, they're going to try to have a lot of the ball. So uh, we're not going to try to outplay them at their own game. We're going to try to adapt the tactics, maybe hit them on a break from time to time. And once we can establish some sort of control, maybe we could probably have um, uh, more attacking minded players on the pitch at the same time. I know Emil smith rowe has been the main guy in the last couple of um, uh, seasons in this save, but we need to focus on the front three as they are combining for Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus is their top goal scorer. Saka's behind them with three and uh, underneath Saka is a uh, Smith Rowe and Odegaard so they're even getting goals from the number 10. In this next matchup we need these players pulling together as a unit as a team so we are going to have players that work hard defensively uh, so Adiemi is going to replace Rashford and uh, Bruno Fernandes like I mentioned before is going to start over Xavi Simmons. Uh, I think that's, those are the only two changes in the starting 11. Uh, last season we had a good head-to-head -head against the Gooners. Uh, let's see if we can disrupt their title challenge early on. Doji, got Adiemi, play on the inside. Gimarej, back into Adiemi. Got Victor Semen. Gimarej, Adiemi again. Let's go. He holds on to the ball, doing really well under pressure. Adoji, going to play it into the middle for the cutback. Victor Semen, we find the back of him there. I don't know how we've done it. We've not lost the ball. Arsenal haven't touched the ball from kickoff, <laughs> and we've punished them early on. Imagine that, leaving Chelsea, going to Real Madrid just to come back to get beaten on your first return to Old Trafford. <laughs> Courtois, he might just have a nightmare in this game if Arsenal continue to defend like that. Bring Pong. Oh, God, Nacho, perfectly weighted pass. Bruno Fernandes, we're going to find Kareem Adiemi. What accuracy that is from our captain. Adiemi, Gimarej, get the shot off. Courtois is tested. It's like a swarm. It's like a swarm of red shirts right now on top of Arsenal. Tonali puts a ball in. Courtois comes to claim it. The guard tries to cut in. Goes back on the outside to Joe Gomez. He's on his right foot. Oh, he's goes central. Come on, someone put a foot in Gimenez. It's spun. He turns him. Odegaard skips uh, Adiemi. Odegaard with his strafe dribbling. <laughs> He's ripping us and tearing us to pieces with Joe Gomez. They find a ball in behind. Armada. Oh my goodness me, they score. They've done the Uno reverse. <laughs> They've literally just done the exact same thing to us. <laughs> but it felt a bit more disgusting. It felt like they were playing piggy, piggy in the middle outside our penalty area for a bit. And then decide to go direct. It's 1-1. Going to drill this ball forward into Garnacho. Tomori can turn. We find Victor Osman. Back hill. Oh, what a ball. Oh, if uh, Gimresh was able to finish that, then it would be 2-1. It would have been a perfect way to take the lead again. We win the ball back. Fring Pong, we're going to float that to the left, Adoji, let's go, Adoji, cut back, it's on again, it, it's blocked, initially, Adiemi with the shot, Courtois with a save again, man, Odegaard finds Armada, Armada, the guy who bagged the equaliser, he's got an option in the middle, finds Gabriel Zeus, Zeus, oh, good play there by Tomori, oh, what's Tomori done there? Oh my God, what's Tomori done? I wasn't meant to tackle that guy. I was meant to predict where the next guy was going. We've conceded a silly penalty. Oh my God. Why is Gabriel Jesus in the way? Uh, Tomori might go punished. He is punished. Saka hits it down the middle. We're 2-1 down against Arsenal. A blunder right at the back has cost us. Uh, we did start the game off positively. Really direct. And it seems like an individual error. Uh has caused us to chase the game possibly. The game was wide open. I feel like Arsenal are going to try to control possession now. Now that they're ahead. Speaking of uh, Arsenal being ahead, they're trying to get themselves further ahead by bombing forward. We win the ball in the middle of our own half. Osimhen releases Adiemi. Let's uh, drive into the middle. Kareem Adiemi does really well. Oh my God, this is a good goal. Oh my God, I thought it was a good goal coming. How did Courtois stop that? Oh days Adi Emi I know he's gone with his right foot but I'm sure he's good with his weak foot too and uh, lo and behold Anthony's making his way on the field 120 million pounds was a uh, transacted between the two clubs for that move to happen I know Anthony getting his first out in first return to Old Trafford cross comes in Odoji with the header it's off target and to Saka oh well done Odoji come on get forward now awesome man it's just a ball watching a lot of ball watching going on. 
Low ball watching going on and Anthony's there to punish us. Oh my god. Anthony returns to Old Trafford and scores. It's just too much ball watching going on in the middle. I think uh, our unbeaten run has come to an end. Two changes being made. Adiemi is being replaced by Rashford. Xavi Simmons is on for Bruno Fernandes. Uh, the midfield is not clicking with the passes as per usual. When they go hiding, they really go hiding. Uh, let's go Xavi Simmons. Awesome man. Ball dinked over the top. Bruno Gimarej will pull one back. We we'll pulled one back. Get the ball. Run to the halfway line. It's 3 2. Good challenge there by Tomori. Tanali on the ball now. Garnacho. Go on, Oshiman. Turn. Oshiman turns. Finds Xavi Simmons. Xavi Simmons for the equaliser. There's a block by Norton Cuffey. So jarring. So jarring that is. Uh, Almada. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's literally just sprinted in between two players. Oh my God, it's over. It's over. Arsenal have retained the unbeaten record. Almada has just simply just boosted the ball in between two defenders and took them both out of the game. Shocking scenes, man. Look at this. It's a simple finish in the end. You left them one-on-one -on -one with Diogo Costa. Really seen in the first half how deadly that could be. We'll throw everything at it. Let's go. Three minutes added on. Fring Pong. Get past Anthony. Gonna go centrally. Fring Pong. We'll dink it over the top. Go on. Shavi Simmons can't get under control. Go on, Tonali. Heads it down. Oh, Shavi Simmons. Rashford. We have done it. We have done it. <laughs> we have done it. We have managed to get a draw against Arsenal. I don't know how we've done it. Two minutes, three minutes to go. We scored two goals. Poor defending from the Gooners. It's back on. The record is ready to be broken. Look at the seeds, man. Look at the seeds. Whenever our backs is against the wall, we find a way to score. And uh, we just don't know how to lose games. We just don't know how to lose games. Uh, we just don't know how to lay down and accept a defeat. Especially when we have a record to break. 4-4 four, four is the scoreline at Old Trafford. Shocking defending. <laughs> uh Guys, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm mentally drained from that roller coaster of a match. But imagine that Anthony returning the cheek, the cheek to try and end it all for us. So Victor Osman managed to bag man of the match with a goal and two assists to his name. Xavi Simmons getting a goal and an assist off the bench. I think is a foregone conclusion uh, who should be starting in that number 10 position between him and Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes just completely went missing in this game. So like I said in the last episode, it's a big difference uh, being able to turn up in big games, big moments, or, and just turning up against sides we expect to beat. Uh, we've got a 4.4 XG to their 1.5. Knowing that we're going to take a hit in terms of the lead table, I'm still chuffed to have uh, managed to grab a draw out of that game just to know that the unbeaten record is still intact i'm chuffed oh my head is pulsating right now i'm just so happy to have got that draw over the line and in terms of the lead table we have taken a hit we are level on points of manchester city we both have drawn the same amount of games and won the same amount of games so we're both on 20 points and we're ahead on a goal difference but now as the international break we are going to simulate a few days just so we can uh, skip forward to the next game which is against Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. We have an away trip. I've personally identified this guy as the next right back that we should definitely go in for the next time he's available. He plays for FC Augsburg, Archie Hawkins. He's a right back, 18 years of age, English. And in terms of his play styles, he has dead ball, rapid and long throw, which is quite useful for a full back to have. He's quite pacey as well, 86 acceleration, sprint speed 91. The other attributes that do actually matter, defensive awareness 77, stand tackling 85, slide tackling 80. He's going to be a gem. If we manage to get our hands on him, we're going to become OP around the back. We're always on the search for new talent. We're not going to rest. We're not going to rest until we win it all. Um, in terms of uh, this next game, Bournemouth, uh, they're sitting fourth place. They're actually playing quite well in the league, but in the last five games, they've actually suffered two defeats. So maybe we can work on their fragility and uh, yeah, work away at their fragili fragility, I should say. Uh, in terms of their personnel in their squad, who do they have that's noticeable? Um, Angel Gomez, he's in our list, he's in our shortlist. Lucas Metcher, the brother of Felix Metcher, 
He's actually quite a good striker as well. Hammer Traore, uh, Diallo's brother. He's playing off the left hand side. He's supposed to be quite good in this game. Um, they've got uh, they've got Justin Cliver on the bench. Four changes made in the side. Hoyland is in for Osim Hen. Simmons is back in the is back back in the starting eleven. In fact, that's five changes. So he's the number ten. Gimenez is also back. Uh, Martinez is at the back next to Tapsuba and Malas is in for Adoji. Ring Pong. Tapsuba. We're gonna. Try to attack down this right hand side. Garnacho comes short. Got Fringpong overlapping. We're gonna ignore that run. Oh come on man, do better than that. No options in the centre. Angel Gomez. He looks perfect for our midfield. I can't lie. He seems to be dictating the tempo for Bournemouth right now. Go back to keep up. Rasmus Hoyland flick this on. Flick this on. <sighs> I was aiming for Rasmus Hoyland in the first place. Why has it only gone as far as Xavi Simmons, Luka Mecha and the goalkeeper's dive before he's even shot? Goalkeeper's dive before he's, he's even shot. It's 1-0 to Bournemouth, man. Can't believe that. We're being played by that silly animation again. It feels like we've got Onana in goals. Onana back or something. We're conceding way too many goals in this episode. Tonali. Well, let's play out the press now. They're pressing us and boxing us into our own half. And this is what we do to our position sides I, I know they're playing really well th this season and they're sitting fourth place but come on man can't play like this back-to-back -back games Gimmerish let's go direct oh, uh, Hoyland just get the ball out of your feet and turn why why is it like he's stuck in the mud we've practiced this for three seasons now three seasons receive the ball turn and go uh Oh my god, I can't make any of this up right now. None of my passes want to make it to his destinations. I play it into Gimarej. Go on. Rasmus Hoyland. First touch. Get the ball out of your feet again. Uh we're failing to get the ball under control in the final third when it matters. Let's go. Tonali fired us at the key pop. <sighs> what a hit. <laughs> what a hit. Tonali. Smashes it home. One one is that's the equalizer. The stadium's gone quiet. You can hear a pin drop. <laughs> I didn't expect that to just fly. And Travis completely bat her beaten from outside the box. Just knows how to hit a ball whenever he puts his mind to it. Oh, uh, what a way to equalize on a stroke of half time. Definitely does uh, change the team talk just a bit, just a tad bit. But uh, these players are still gonna get a bollocking regardless. It's just gonna be on a lighter level. Oh my god. You no, know Angel Gomez. We're gonna take this guy out at some point. When he's not the last man. And that's when it is. And we win the ball. We completely win the ball. And the referee doesn't care. What a, what a tapped individual. Back into Mecha. Well done, Tapsuba. Stands up and puts a foot in. Garnacho gives it to Xavi Simmons. Come on, there's a breakaway here. And he's just out. He's just completely overdone it there. Ball goes in. Garnacho. Xavi Simmons takes a shot. Travers again. Ball hit right at him. We need to get the three points. We can't continue to drop points. I know getting a draw still helps our claim this unbeaten run. But Manchester City, <laughs> they're looking likely to go top of the table by the end of the episode. Oh, no, he stops him in his tracks. Tonali. Gimerej. Ooh. Adiemi on the ball. Give it to Rashford. Go and return it back to Adiemi through the legs of the, the Bournemouth player. Ooh, Adiemi. Oh, Adiemi. Oh, how has he not scored? He's done that again. Back-to-back -back games. Adiemi in front of goal, not hitting the target against uh, Travers. Oh, how has he not scored that? Where's the pad? I can't find the pad. <laughs> hey, well done. Garnacho wins the ball high up the pitch. Let's think this into the gap. Kareem Adiemi. Adiemi gets the ball out of his feet. Oh, my God. Third choice striker, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe that. 1 1 is the scoreline. Man United have dropped two points away from home against uh, Bournemouth. It's, it's been a frustrating game. The way we conceded that first goal is criminal as well. These defenders, they, they can't be throwing away goals, throwing away goal scoring opportunities. And then even in front of goal, Adiemi, it, it should have been 2 1 by the end of this game, or at least 3 1. It takes a mature footballer to understand when they're not playing well. And even uh, Diogo Costa is not too pleased with his own playing performances. Uh, right now, he's got a massive thumbs down in terms of his form, his aim, and downwards. So we need to try and turn this around, maybe get a clean sheet against Benfica. Uh, we need to 
somehow find a way to get Bruno Fernandes ticking in our system as well. It's quite odd to have our captain not starting any games, especially the fact that he's helped us lead the way uh, so far in this rebuild. And then next up is Benfica. You guys should come to expect uh, a, a massive encounter, a cracking encounter. Uh, however, this season they're not doing too well in terms of uh, the European competition, only scoring one goal uh, through um, Araujo. If we can keep them isolated up front, maybe we can keep them quiet. Uh, I don't want to concede any goals against the side that's barely managing to score against um, sides that aren't favourites to make it out of this group. So some players have lost their back in. Fring Pong is going to be dropped to the bench. Dolo's going to make his way into the starting 11. In terms of our midfield three, it consists of the same players that started the last game. Our final third, we have uh, Osman back into the fold. Rashford starts again off the left. Adoji starting on the left as well of the defensive partnership. Tomori's back. So yeah, we have made a few changes. I don't know what to expect from these players. I'm going to switch the kit. I'm tired of playing in this white kit. So uh, I feel like we're one more victory away from making it a lot harder for any other side to consider themselves favourite in Group G to make it out into the knockout phase. Delo plays it into Victor Osterman. We're going to return it back into Delo in the gap. And then we have Bruno Gimerez in front of goal. It's 1 0. Where was this? Cut an edge in front of goal in the last couple of games. This is what we needed. Players to play direct balls in behind and the runs just needed to make sense. Well, we're getting it now, thankfully. Eight minutes in. We've taken the lead against Benfica. It's a good start to this game. Come on, the doji. We've got Marcus Rashford running down this line. I think Benfica, they're leaving themselves wide open here. Especially through the left-hand side. That's where we like to attack from. Victor Hoshman, he doesn't score on the cutback. Shevchenko makes the stop. Tapsuba climbs really high up on the shoulders of Memphis the pipe. Let's go. Osimhen. Oh, Shurkin gets a, a head in. Referee. That should be a penalty, really. Gimarej. Tonali. Another attempt outside the box. No. He's closed down in time. Tengstet. On the left hand side. He's looking for the pie on the inside. Oh, come on, Delo. Get the ball out of your feet and pass the ball, man. Does this every time. What's Tenali done there with the pass out from the back? Tengstet plays into the centre. Dantas, come on, close him down the low. Close him down the low. The ball drilled outside the penalty area. Tomas. Uh, Dantas. Dantas drills the ball right at Diogo Costa. He has a second attempt. He's right on. I don't get it. I really don't get why goalkeepers pa uh, parry the ball in the path of attackers this year on, on EAFC. It, it just, I don't know. It, puts, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth because I feel like there's a lot of things he could have done there after that save Diogo Costa to prevent that from happening. But it's 1 1. A wide open at the back, and we still find a way to struggle to score goals. Referee just doesn't want to blow his whistle. He doesn't know what a foul is anymore. But he blows the whistle for little knocks and little coming togethers. Just doesn't make any sense. 35 minutes gone. We'll Level 1-1 one, one with Benfica. Come on, enough of this ball watching. I've had enough of that in this episode. Oshimen. Go on, go on, Nacho. Go on, go on, Nacho. Get round there, man. You've got the acceleration. Go on, head that down. Shavi Simmons does well. Tanali. Simmons. Tanali again. Rashford. Barely gets under control. Dumbia's trying to apply that pressure. Adoji crosses it in. Back post. Go and cut that back. Garnacho is blocked. Tanali on the edge of the box. Think that over the top. Referee, give me the free kick. Pay up, pay up. We need our free kicks. Sandro Tanali over this free kick now. See if we can hit this ball correctly. Sandro Tanali steps up to take this one. Smashes it home. <laughs> Smashes it home outside the box. It's 2 1. What a thunderbolt of a free kick. Shevchenko barely even moved for that one. <laughs> Tonali, uh, he's on one in this episode. <laughs> a lot of power. Hit behind that one. Look at that. He just arrows it. Arrows it into the near post of Shevchenko's goal. Uh, on the stroke of half time. It's a positive referee. I can't believe that, man. You've blown the whistle for all sorts of things in favour of Benfica, but. We can get clamped. We can get double teamed. We can get spine busted. The referee doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. Going with the patient approach at the start of the second half. Dantas plays it forward. Araujo inside the penalty area. Gets the shot off. Costa again. Parries the shot. But this time, 
He can comfortably hold on to the ball. Rashford, one two between him and Victor Osterman. Rashford's getting a bit of Dumba in the foot race. Come on, Marcus Rashford. We're going to open up his body, find the opposite corner. Exactly what has happened. And uh, Shevchenko's beaten for the third time at home. Marcus Rashford's performing really well off the left hand side. If we've ever doubted him for a moment, <laughs> he's definitely shut us up now. The two time Ballon d'Or winner, he's proven to be really hard to mark for Dumbia down the left hand side. Okay, we are making several changes. Hoyland is on for Victor Osimhen. We also taken off Bruno Gimares, bringing on Martin. Uh, Lenny Yoro's replacing Edmund Tapsuba. Ball crossed in. Thank you, Costa. Who's that? Tonali. Tonali's down. Tonali's down. What has gone on here, man? It's that coming together in the box. He, he better be fit as a fiddle when we get into the menu. He's been playing really well in this episode. And without him, <laughs> we wouldn't have equalised against Bournemouth. We would have taken the lead again against the likes of uh, Benfica. So we're going to have to bring on Zaya Emery. Myers. Ball goes in. Shekin gets it out. Euro on the edge of the penalty area. Euro. Right foot strike. Top corner, top corner. How about that? Our centre back is scoring bangers too. 4-1. Uh, what a lovely finish from the Frenchman. Uh, signed him at the age of 18. And now he looks like he can hit one from outside the box. Not only he's good defensively, he can score goals too. Lenny Euro with a banger. Top right corner, Shevchenko. Uh, he's been outwitted in his own stadium. Uh, nothing but bangers in this episode. <laughs> Tonali scoring two. Great goals from outside the box. One being a free kick. One being from open play. And then Lenny, Lenny Euro with the Traveller. I've literally just taken the free kick. Looked away and looked back. And the ball's in my net. What's happened here? Okay, I passed the ball. To Lenny Euro, I pass it back to the keeper. I looked away, I looked back. Diogo Costa's let go in his goal. I don't know, I don't know. We're going to take that on the chin. Lenny Euro scored a goal and it also scores an own goal. Uh, some will get mad at their mechanics at this point. I'm just fed up. I'm fed up of passes not going to its destination. Like, how do you aim at a goalkeeper and then pass it into your own goal? I don't get it. But here we go. Seven minutes to go. Martin. Garnacho. Zai Emery. Ball dinked over the top. Myers can chase onto it. Oh, referee, man. Are you serious? You're having a bubble, man. The amount of crackhead challenges I've seen so far in this episode. And this guy's just going to dash himself on the floor after a couple drags, a couple tugs and pulls on the shirt. Let's go, Myers. Garnacho back into Myers. Myers bursting forward with the ball. Xiao Victor looking like he wanted to cut across. He doesn't. And then Myers has a free crack at Shevchenko. Even in this game, I, I don't feel like Benfica even deserved the goal out of this game, let alone two. <laughs> We've given them an We've given up a, a, a goal at the end, an own goal from Lenny Euro. And literally, I only took my eyes off the screen for a couple of seconds. And then I look back and then <laughs> Memphis Depay is running away celebrating like he scored a goal himself. Uh, I really don't understand how I pass it back to the keeper, but it ends up in, my, in the back of my own net. But yeah, when it comes to Marcus Rashford, I feel like he's definitely uh, silenced his critics, i.e. Romel HD. <laughs> uh, he got man of the match yet again. Tonali again with a, another goal, back-to-back -back games. Bruno Gimares, he opened the scoring. Victor Osterman got himself an assist. Lenny Euro got himself a goal at both ends. Uh, <laughs> this episode's been all about Sandro Tonali's determination in the midfield. So if he's out injured for a long duration of time, I'm going to be so... Oh, seven months. Are you... Oh my God, I hate this game. Oh, I really hate the save now. I hate the game. I hate the save. I hate everything. He's out for seven months. How can you be out for seven months? You only had a little coming together in the penalty area. Oh, the season. The season. Throw it away, man. I know we've got 
Zaire Emery and Kobe Mainu. This is a great opportunity for those two players to come into the first team. But Tanali, this episode's literally been about this guy and he goes out injured at the end of it. You can't make any of this up. I really don't know what to do for the fun though. I really don't. Like, I really don't. I mean, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because there's a, there's been positive things to talk about around Tanali, especially the free kick and the goal against Bournemouth. And now he's out injured. He's out injured with a broken tibia for seven months. You know what? I'll take that, you know. I'll take that because it's different to a broken toe. <laughs> it's different to a broken... No, why am I saying I'll take that? I, I don't take this. <laughs> it happens every season. We have a seven-month injury, then a series of three- and four-month injuries. Oh, we can't have a break. The physios, they're always, they've always got some sort of work to, 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 to do. <laughs> like the, the injuries list is definitely going to grow. Uh, we end this episode in a positive way and in a negative way at the same time. Uh, in the next episode, you should come to expect us to play against Brighton. We've got Tottenham Hotspur. We've got them back-to-back. -back. We've got them in the Carabao Cup fourth round. We've got them in the league away from home. And uh, I don't think we're going to play Benfica for the next episode. We're, we're going to stay away from them. <laughs> and then uh, I feel like the episode after that, we should start at uh, Liverpool Crystal Palace and the list goes on from there. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the three goals scored on camera? Lenny Yoro, the Traveller, spectacular, the free kick, so much power, the keeper didn't even bother moving. And the same with the shot outside of the box. Tonali's had an awesome episode. It's just a negative that he's gone out injured. He's going to be out for seven months. But that's also a positive for the likes of Kobe Mainu and Zaya Emery. I know some of you guys probably want to see a bit of a challenge, especially when it comes to team selection. So the youth, the youth is definitely going to be utilised now. We're not going to go in the market and fight in the CDM. There's no, there's no need for that. Uh, have faith in the youth. But yeah, at the time of recording, we're almost, almost there. Close to 2K. Uh, like I said already, sub to the channel if you are new. Also share, share with anyone that uh, enjoys FIFA career mode content. Uh, I'll probably need to start sharing myself. I'm really dead when it comes to promoting this channel. I half ask it. All I really want to do is just sit down, play the video game, upload a video. Bob's your uncle. Promoting it and sharing it and all of that on social media. It's not really my thing. But I do try my best. But yeah, if you guys could do so and help me out with uh, sharing it around, I definitely will appreciate that. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in episode 40. Take care for now. Peace.